All right, what's going on, YouTube? Doing a VOD review on myself. Uh, we just did a war the other night. Kind of got speed ran. Take care. Uh, take care. They came in with the heat. They played a really good war. They had a really good breakout strategy. And they really took advantage of a lot of lack of pressure in specific areas that we have. Uh, but either way, I'm going to do a VOD review on myself. Kind of break down gameplay issues that I'm doing. Things that I tried. Things that worked. Things that didn't work. So we're going to go ahead get the ball rolling and go through it so let's get this rolling all right so off the rip just to kind of give you an idea so my group we are a quad slash flex group right our assignment is top right um on b point we are giving a point that is our free point c point is our last point fallback um when we get to fort which we do again we get speed ran we get bullied pretty hard by take care tonight um or on this evening rather our point is or our objective is holding c gate so left gate all right let's get it going so first off i guess before i do get it rolling too far statistics wise i'm running uh 255 355 of course magnify makes things a little difficult so 255 355 is what i'm running on this one 255 being strength 355 con uh, you can see i am running armor breaker this war giving it a go um, on my hot bar i am running void absorption uh, they ha this army does run quite a bit of uh the abyss great axe so i'm running some void absorption the mana potion um so the reason for the mana potion is i am running healthy toast on my amulet with onk in, at this time, this is the day before the Ankh nerf. It is still 50%. The Healthy Toast perk actually heals more than your standard health potion. And it's on a lower cooldown. So that's why you see the Mana Potion there. Regen Potion, and then of course Cleansing Potions. Um, I am running Cunning Bile. Anti-Heal plus the Exhaust for my Heart Rune. Um, it's been actually pretty impactful. So I've been running it, and it's, it's felt pretty good. So... Uh, my gems, but I'm doing a flat 10-10. So 10 all physical, 10 all magical for this war. And then, of course, the void absorption helps fluff my void resistance. So, okay, let's get it rolling. So, dropping down, I always kind of ping where I'm moving. Um, so as lead bruiser, I need to be able to, you know, show my army where we're going. Now, here, I do see that we are pretty heavy on the right-hand side. Um, so instead of us pushing up into top right and kind of being on an island and, and dying, we're going to play back towards, you know, bottom right slash bond region, uh, to kind of plus up our numbers there until our left side wins on breakout. Mo majority of our army is on the left hand side. So we're going to kind of play back until our left side wins. And hopefully that allows us to stay alive until then. So you're going to see we're going to be playing this choke here between point and uh, bonfire. Trying to jump on to some of their non-gridded players off the rip here. Uh, but then again, their grit does turn on to us. Now, here they are wrapping us pretty good. So let's go back just a moment. Uh, we're going to go back about 10 seconds here. So you're going to see when I do turn to the right, they have a lot wrapping. You know, potentially one, two, three, four groups wrapping. You're going to see a little bit more right here on the front left when I turn again. So they are wrapping pretty hard. We don't have a lot of bodies. We have four groups to counter this entire wrap. Uh, and that includes our quad groups that are, you know, hovering on the bonfire side of point. So they do have a pretty good wrap here and get into our road. So this is something that got us pretty, you know, pretty good. It was a good breakout play for them. So as we're kind of brawling here, Unfortunately, because we are outnumbered and we are not pushed up into the top right, we do not get good pressure on their healers. This may have been an audible call that I should have made when I didn't really see our left side pushing over to help us yet. Um, I should have been like, you know what? We need to push forward and get on these healers. But then that would have made our back line even more free for these, these uh, groups here. So I guess either way, it is what it is. We were outnumbered on this side. Over to us, so we're just kind of trying to live here. Okay, he's, he's pulling people over. 
So communicating to the uh, to the army here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would push closer. So trying to get my group here to get a little bit tighter to point. Um, trying to draw the aggro of these groups towards the point to get them away from our road, away from our back line here. It's kind of the, the intention. Again, big issue is, though, our healers have reds around them. Their healers do not. Um, and th that's something that our group could help with. But unfortunately, if we're not here, these guys are on our healers in the back line. So we're kind of damned either way, just being outnumbered on this right-hand side. We're going to let it keep playing here for a moment. So we get caught there. Consumes were down. Try to get out with some stam. Stam out just to iframe as much as we can. Healer had pressure. Uh, you can see him right now just kind of kiting in the back line. Yeah, that's pretty intense back there. Our bottom left is feeling good. I mean, you can see there's a lot of blues there. They're feeling good. Um, all right, we're going to respawn now. Yeah, I go to the shop, realize I don't have the battle token, so we're going to run back out. So coming in here, we're in our group comms. We are communicating. Hey, should we help our back line? Should we help our back line? Unfortunately, points at 60%, so we need to get up on point right now. So I do make that, that call to say, hey, let's push in. So we're going to hit bottom right. Um, during this time, main shot caller does say, hey, bottom left, bottom left. So, okay, we're going to call that. We're going to push in a little bit so during this time my vgig is right up here with me uh cast savage so he's in a good position to scream and oblive this clump the only problem is we are pretty outnumbered here so templar which is my magical bruiser he's down already i go down they call to give so unfortunately our guys are peeling off pretty hard um it is what it is. So now we're going to respawn and we're going to try to get back over to C point as soon as we can. During this time, we are, I'm letting my team know, hey, we're going to be top left. So coming back up here, we need to try to slow and stop them and get them broken up so they don't just collapse, you know, uh, opposite bond and point. So trying to just disrupt. Keep these guys back. A lot of non-grit players here, so a really, really clutch uh, location for a gravity well. Put some anti-healing exhaust on Lousy Chad here. He does get away, and we don't want to let these guys kind of get in for free, so we're going to play up here, Shockwave. Now, during this skirmish, I don't know if I'm about to or not, but I should be getting these consumables rolling. Uh, as you can see, my void protection's still up. My regen's not popped yet. So we'll see if I do end up popping them here in a second. I'm stammed out currently. So hopefully I kind of disengage, get some consumables running, get that stamina back, and then get back to it. Let's see what happens here. So I'm going to left click to keep the grit going. Uh, left clicking to keep that grit going. That's going to give me more mitigations through grit ward and 350 con. So in the event that I am stammed out, I'm either going to run away or I'm going to just keep left clicking to keep my grit active so that way I take less damage. Again, one thing I am goofing up here though, I don't have my regen going and I don't have my void protection going. Void protection is not a big thing. I could be saving that for a clump fight, but the regen should be popped right now. So, All right, as a group, again, we are kind of brawling up here, holding this space, trying to deny them, you know, this point. We're going back towards Bond, trying to get on these healers uh, and their non-gridded players. Again, you know, as fun as it is to clash in these clumps with bruisers and, and other, you know, thick boys, ultimately we should be trying to disrupt their non-grit. You know, their their healers, their BBIGs, their VGIGs, their fire staffs. The non-grit players around the point is what we should be hitting until that point's really 50% or more, then our group will, will kind of hop on and help. But um, So try to keep these healers moving. See if I can't get some low health bars. Okay, 
I see uh, our bottom left here is getting pretty thick. I don't know where the bottom left group is. I don't know if they got wiped or if they're just fighting on road. So I do call here for our group to come down and fight. So I'm trying to hit this healer here, man. I need to do a little more practicing with Armor Breaker. All right, coming back towards bottom left just to try to help the, the homies here. And we're just pretty far outnumbered. Um, I could be popping a regen right around this part too, just to kind of prep because I know I'm a little outnumbered. Same thing, just trying to disrupt some healers, man. Um, then points at 50%. We got a pretty good angle here, so we try to capitalize on this and get some kills. Big issue with this right here. I should have taken the half second before this formed and popped that regen, popped that cleansing potion, um, and this would have gone a little better. So we've got some good stuff going on. So now I get them cooking. I, I realize, hey, man, this clump's actually developing. I need to get strong. So I, I pop them. Then we're able to get back in here. We get some spit down on that clump, get some anti-heal, re-grab re it, keep them spinning, keep them weakened. And try to, me and Templar are trying to game here and, uh, and keep this point from continuing to spin. Although, as you see, it is slowly spinning, so they have a few more bodies on there than we do. It is what it is. I'm going to try to get out of here. I'm pretty hurt. I'm low on consumes. Coming back in. We're going to get some spit down. Try to save my boy here. Unfortunately, we've lost numbers. We've had some blues die. So now we're on our own. I'm trying to get out of here. Managing my stamina as best possible. Unfortunately, it is what it is. There's too many bodies. All right. Five second respawns. Um, point is still spinning here. I get killed by Willie. Hey, you know what? If I'm going to die, let it be the boy Willie, man. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay, get the re the uh, the cleansing going. Man, only been, you know, a little over five minutes and we're just being bullied. So shot caller is calling for bottom left. So we're trying to kind of blast in here. I almost have uh, spit up again. Now, big issue here. This is a throw on my part. I don't die for it. I should. Um, it doesn't matter either way, honestly, just, I should have my cleansing potion popped before all this happens. I mean, you see all the weekend on me, I've got five stacks play all weekend already, you know, so I ain't, that's 50%. I mean, I, I'm already weakened out the ass, uh, unfortunately. So I should have my cleansing potion on, uh, to prevent that. I don't. So knowing that he's calling bottom left, I should have already pre popped this thing. Uh, it is what it is. It's, it's, that was definitely a mistake on my part. So coming back out, I don't have any of my AOE abilities and I see their AOE healer, Pestilent below, right in front of me. So I do try to disrupt them real quick. Um, unfortunately, again, the armor breakers, I'm a little shy on them. We call to give, we're pulling back towards base. We're pulling back towards base. I try to dodge here, proc some shirking heals to stay alive. Um, I'm going to my gate. As I'm going to my gate, they call. Hey, let's disrupt these guys with Zerg them on A real quick. So I come back over here. Now, I make this common game, but we're trying to brawl off the gate for two main reasons. One, we want to slow down their damage on the gate. By fighting them off the gate, that lets it take a little bit longer for them to damage that gate. Two, that way we're in line of sight of our healers up on the wall. When you're hugging the gate, you're up next to the wall, your healers have line of sight issues with you, and they're easily grabbed well off. This way, we're not. So, we start fighting these guys out here. Um, you know, we're, we're brawling with them pretty good. Me and Templar, we try to get through here. He survives, dude, in tomb. Good shit. So, we're kind of dancing around here, just really disrupting. A better place for me here would probably be on this, right on road. There's three, four life staffs right there. Um, probably should have went in there, to be honest with you. Nice. We do secure a kill at least there. Oh man, I tried to get the boy dry lip John, man. 
Okay. So my gate anchor just basically called us back. So they put, they broke our gate. So I'm trying to get back in. Unfortunately, I do get caught up and they do kill me. Um, so I'm on respawn now. So I'm actually communicating to my Seagate anchor. I said, Hey, try to repair it. Um, yeah, try to repair it. 10 second respawn. Keep that door up until we get respawns up if you can. Well, of course, during this time it is bugged. So they're able to hit him through the gate. So they're actually damaging him while they're damaging the gate. So he cannot repair it. Uh, it is what it is. I'm going to respawn on front left. That's C gate. That's where I'm supposed to be. The gate's open. They got an ice wall down. And luckily we caught him just in time. We're calling single targets here. Trying to get some kills. We get a nice little clump here. Okay, he gets away. He gets away. We got one guy trapped inside. We're going to body block this guy. We're not going to let him out. We're not going to let him out. So we get in front of him. Try to make sure he can't charge. Don't give him any way out. And then we're going to go right back and forth. Reset here. Looking around. Just making sure they don't need help. All the other gates right now are pretty good. So trying to hold the spit for their next push. Get some disease on them when they push in here. Now, now we need to hold this. So what worked really good here is the healer called two on me on dirt. Templar peeled back to peel for the heals. And then Cass and I were able to hold this door uh, to kind of split their forces up a bit. Now point is ticking 25, 30%. We're not going to look at point. We're going to hold this door down. We're not going to go towards point until it's a little over 50. That's when we want to turn and respond when it's breaking that 50% threshold. Um, we want to hold our door. There's five of us. There's about five to 10 enemies at this gate. Uh, I think there was like seven or eight that I counted. So we want to hold down this door, this door and make sure they cannot get through. Hey, their healer's so their healer came in. He got a little caught up on ice. I call us out. Call him out. My VGIG comes in with the clutch scream. And then Templar comes up and we just boom, boom. We piece this dude up and we kill their heals. Great, great fucking. Now, with that being said, we got their healer dead. But points at 75%. We got to react to mid. Now, there's two different things that we could have done here. Um, our numbers on point are obviously a little bit lower than them. We They are gaining tick. So we commit to point. We could have also dove B gate choke and tried to farm their AOE healer. Um, I did not see a lot of pressure on their AOE healer this, this war, but I was, you know, pretty preoccupied. So I may have missed it. Either way, we push on the point. We try to hurry up and get on here and make some shit happen. We get a couple uh, kills right there in that clump fight there. Trying to play life, trying to play life, but keep my toes on. Keep the toes on. Right up towards hell, right up towards hell. We're trying to fight in hell. I almost got spit back up, and I'm just going to immediately spit right into the clump here. And we're just doing everything we can to try to live, man. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Um, their AoE heals just really didn't get a lot of pressure from what I could see, and they were clumping up super heavy on point, uh, just spinning and just living in those heals, you know, with the combination of onk, shirking heals, and everything else. So, um... We're hitting the labs. We're doing some VOD reviews on, on a lot of different players, a lot of different positions, finding out different things that went wrong, uh, different things that we can do better to counter, you know, what we're seeing out there with this new meta. Um, as far as the Bruiser build went, though, it felt good, man. Um, I do think, and it's going to feel even better going into this patch, into the Halloween patch with Ankh being nerfed. I really think that this build does stand out and feel very good. Um... You know, the amount of grit ward, the freedom, and then the health working together just feels super, super strong. And, of course, you do get a little carried with Ankh, but not relying on the shirking heals, I think, is a, is a big factor with this build, the, the build that's in my Bruiser video. So, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. A um, lot of good information in terms of Bruiser build, and it is still a viable build after the balance changes that have happened with the Halloween patch, the nerf to Ankh. Uh, this build is still very strong, so check it out. Uh, I'm I'm loving it. I'm having a good time. You'll see, even with that speed run, 
um, you know, and, and being on the outside of point, not being on point the entire war, we still got 30th, you know. So, I mean, it still feels good. We're still putting out some good damage. Uh, we're, we're still securing kills, getting some assists. Unfortunately, we did kind of get speed ran, man. You know, take care. They hit pretty hard. You know, they, they knew they came in with a real good breakout strat. Kudos to them on the breakout strat, man. Um, kudos to them on the heavy backline pressure. They played their hearts out. They played well, man. They played real, real good. You know, our guys played good, but we're just a little behind on certain things. We got to tighten it up. We got to get better. That's all there is to it. VOD review gets the labs and make it happen. So awesome, guys. Hey, if you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Uh, throw down the comments. Say, hey, man, yeah, this was cool. This was helpful. Uh, or, hey, break down more macro army play or break down more you know, single, you know, play focus on the, on, you know, the build and the bruiser gameplay. Let me know what you want to see. If you want me to keep doing these, um, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy the VOD reviews. It's a lot of fun. I do. I VOD review my own stuff everywhere anyways. So I don't mind, you know, recording it and, and giving some playback with it. Uh, makes my notes a lot easier because I don't have to type them out. Right. I can just say it. So, but uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you guys have any, you know, if you, if you like this, let me know if you want any other type of content that you're, that you're like, hey, man, watching this VOD review made me think about this. You know, throw it in the comments. Let me know. Also, like and subscribe, of course. It helps me out a ton. I appreciate you guys. All right. I appreciate you guys, though. I'll see you in the next one, man. Take care. Peace.